Hi everybody! Today I'm going to be unboxing Astro's mini album, Dream Part 2. I have all three versions here for you and I really can't wait for you to see them. All three of them have these, um, I'm not really sure what that's called, foil I guess kind of effect. This one is rainbow. I'll show you this one last because it was a special limited edition one. And then I'll show you wind before that, but let's start out with the wish version. I believe this is called wish. The second one wind and the third one with or maybe this one's with I don't know but you get the idea um, this is a really big box um, that's like the size of my hand compared to it and I won't spoil what the photo card is yet but I'll show you the size of a photo card next to it so you'll see that in a little bit but if you know or recognize their signature you might already have been able to guess it slips off just the same as Dream Part 1 did. Oh, I'm good, but thank you. And then inside, you've got a photo book, which is very sizable in my opinion, and I like that about it. And something really exciting about these albums is that you have not character, not character, not member face plates, but a surprise under the face plate that is a character. I got the Moonbin one, and I got this one randomly because I bought these new. And I was really exci like, excited to see that. He's not my bias, but I still really, really love Moonbin, so I wasn't disappointed at all. And it doesn't fill up the whole box, but what I like about the Dream Part 1 and 2 boxes is that they're a really nice material so that um, nothing caves in or anything like that. And you've got the members on the back, and if you did want to take this part out, if you tip it over, it'll just fall out. It's not glued into there. So I'll set that part aside for now and I'll get into the photo book because the photo book is different for all three versions. You get a postcard in each version. There's one postcard option per version and here's the back. It has their names. So let's get right into it. We start out with Jinjin, and I know that that hair on him wasn't the most popular, but I thought it was really unique and cool. I liked it. And I like how he from, I can go from looking really serious to having like the most adorable little hamster smile in the world. Like, oh my gosh. And then it gets into MJ. I think that the portraits like this one are really pretty and I like about the book it's just all very well put together in quality I don't feel like the glue in the spine is going to crack or um, anything like that and you can open it without having to worry about anything getting bent or creased and then the two of them together have a few pages and I just think that the theme for this photo book is really really cute I like it and handsome I like the turtlenecks and the lasers, I guess. And then we have Yunwoo. We discovered that he has a forehead, which was really, really refreshing. We haven't been able to see that for years. And he has these, like, really cute purple socks on. Like, that's just adorable. And then we get into Moonbin. And he has this, like, really cool, like, dark blue kind of hair. I thought it looked amazing. And then, just like with the last pair, you get both of them together for a few pages. And I love Yunwu and Moonbin's friendship, so I thought it was really cool to have those pages. And then we... <laughs> I'm sorry. And then it goes into Rocky, and he just looks so cute. Just look at him. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm suffering a little bit. Um... There's this white space around the pictures, which you guys know I usually complain about, but um, because of the size of the page, I'm not that bothered by it. <gasps> oh, he's so cute. Oh, he has son, huh? And he's grown up. He looks so mature now compared to how he did at debut. Our adorable little Mukne. I like the distribution of the photos as well, that there's um, solo shots, duo shots, and later on you'll see more group shots. 
It adds a lot of variety. With each version of the normal ones, not the limited edition, you get two different photo cards and then you get a Polaroid, which I will show you the ones I got after I show you the photo book. And then we get to the group shots, like I said. I think Astro usually has really strong photo books. I have other Astro CDs I want to review for you guys, but um, I am afraid that if I rush my reviews, um, that I'll run out of content with you guys for you guys. So we each do a few videos a week, and then it goes Sunha, and then MJ, and back here it's in a different order than it was towards the beginning of the book, and you have the lyrics as well. Who's your astro bias? I'd really love to know. Oh my god, that was so cute. You're being very rocky bias today. That was Moonbim. I know, but when you freaked out over Rocky. That was just such a good picture of him. He's not my bias, but it was really good. I do love all the boys, though. They're all... They all seem like really good people. Really sweet. There's this one compilation on YouTube, and it's one of my favorite videos I've ever seen. It's like, um... Astro kissing and like, oh my god. And like, um... Near kissing moments. If you are an uh, if you are an Aroha and you haven't seen it, you should check it out. So that's the back of the book. Um, I don't think right now I'm gonna bother with putting it all back together, just because this look. Uh, actually, I will show you this. The lid. I do like that there's a design in here that's not just white. It's sometimes a little bit tight to get on. Not too bad, but like when you take it off, you gotta kind of like shimmy it. Do you know what I mean? That makes sense. I think. I'll show you the two photo cards I got with this one and the Polaroid. There's different photo card options per version as well. So um, you won't, if you buy two different versions, you won't get the same photo card twice. I got Rocky and Din Din. And the backs have their signatures on it and the design of the front of the um, photo book. So I got those two babies. And then I got the Senha Polaroid. And I love this picture. I think he looks so cute. And then the back it just says Astro. So let's get right into the next version. Oops, I forgot to put my postcard away. Yikes. Anyway, okay. So here's the wind version. I always remember the name of this one because um, it's outside. <laughs> See, this is me trying to like open it okay there we go and it's got like the shiny bit on the front like the other one does as always that's my stupid dog he's very noisy take the photo book out and then I'll show you who I got under my CD I got Moonbin again so I thought that was pretty <laughs> cool that even though it wasn't planned I got like um, a matching set oh I was right it doesn't go this way um I, oh, okay, uh, I want to say something like, oh, well, he's one of my favorites, so it doesn't matter to me. But I could really say that about any of them, except for maybe MJ. He's my least, least favorite. Um, I don't have anything against him. He just doesn't really stick out to me the way that the other ones do. But, I mean, like, if he's your bias, no offense or anything. I'm not trying to be rude. And here's the postcard option that you get for this. And while the other one was vertical, this one is horizontal. And this one starts out with Moonbin. So this as well goes in a different order from what the other version did. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of whatever filter or whatever they did on the pictures because you can't very clearly see his blue hair and um, I think Jin Jin's maroon hair later looks a bit off, too. Oh, he's so tall now. Do you remember when he was just like a small little braces baby? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you know what is my actual bias? He's just so handsome and just funny. I love his personality. 
I bought that high cut magazine that um, had red velvet in it and I was pleasantly surprised when I got it. I really wanted to review it for you guys honestly but um, it was difficult for me too because it's just so big like there's no way I can fit it into frame or I might have to have somebody like hold a camera while I do it and then it would look kind of shaky I don't know I'm trying to think about it but anyway um, and you know it was like in this really big ad campaign in it and so I was pleasantly surprised to like that because I did buy it for red velvet between the two versions so far which one do you like better uh, that's a really good picture. Sure, you can tell me what you think. Mm, probably the first one. Yeah, I'd have to say the same. But I like both. Oh, uh, he's so handsome. Oh. I'm sorry about the noise upstairs. If we could control it more, we would. Thank you for your patience, though. I really appreciate you. Um, not leaving any nasty or negative comments about it or clicking off the video because we do just want to share our collection and like our love of K-pop with you guys and we'd love to hear what you guys have to say too you can always hit us up on our socials or in the comment section look at that baby smile oh my god just look at that picture and then like how serious he is. Oh, so cute! I really like these shots that are like in succession, I think, of one another. Showing like a little scene of him being, you know, silly. Sorry, I knocked the tripod there. And then I did it again. Ha! Did they make the sky white? Yes. I just now noticed that, like... <laughs> he is so freaking handsome. Have you seen him without a shirt on? Like, not to, like, sexualize anybody, but... It's, it's a look. I don't think I have. Oh, girl. Yeah, huh, I've sent you pictures. I think I like big portrait shots the best. Oh my god, he's so cute. I wish this picture was bigger on the page. Um, I understand like the aesthetic of the white space, but it's just not my thing. Now we have a scene of the boys being silly, and we have a thanks too. And a group pop group pick, they're kind of lost in the crack. I like when the picture is kind of cut into two pieces and then moved over so it's out of the crack, but there's like a little space in between, if that made any sense. So then everybody is seen. And that's the end of that photo book. I believe that, no, that's not going the right way. I think that you got a lot more extras with Dream Part 1, but I don't have any complaints about this one. And I'll show you my photo cards. I was happy when I got these because for some reason when I get Astro, um, I don't often get my bias, so that kind of is a bummer, but I did get him this time, and I got Rocky, and I love these PCs. And there's the backs. And the Polaroid that I got is MJ's. Okay, I know this video is getting a little bit long. Please be patient with me. But okay, we've got the fi we finally have this special album here. Oh, so pretty. And let's just get right into it. There was several different versions of this. This one, unlike the other ones, doesn't have that at the bottom. But what this one did have was different pictures for the front of the photo book. There was one for each member, and then there was a unit one. I got the unit one. I don't have photo cards to show you for this, but I will say that they were different from the other two versions. And I believe that you got two. And here's the 
postcard. Of the three postcards, this one's definitely my favorite. I think that picture is adorable. Oops. And there's back. This photo book also seems a bit smaller than the other ones. This was limited edition of 30,000, I think. It was something along that line, those lines. And honestly, can Astro come back? It's been a whole six months. We miss you very much. Look at how cute. <laughs> I don't know if I asked already, but who's your bias? And what song did you first hear from Astro? He's so playful and cute. There's that clip where he had like um, a sore in his mouth or something and he had to put like medicine on it. And he acts so dramatic about it. I thought that was really cute. I think looking sleepy and cuddly like this picture over here is so adorable. There's this thing in the way of my arm. Okay, I had to move that. I was getting on my nerves. What a cute eye smile. And I think that the confetti or, yeah, that's confetti. I thought that was really cute too. And I like that it circles, which I don't think I usually see. He is so weird. They're both weird. I'm glad that they got to take pictures together. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so cute. He's a ham for the camera. He knows how to... Oh my god, look at those fucking legs. Him tall. Him so tall, those pants don't even look like they fit him right. <laughs> I don't think I... Yeah, I was worried I skipped a page there. I do wish that it had um, uh, a face under the CD plate. Like the other two. Just because like, that's a really cute extra surprise. Their hair, um, I'm sure you've already noticed, is also different than this. When Ben doesn't have his blue. Got the lyrics and stuff again. And then there's the back of the book. And this looks similar to the postcard, but it's not exactly the same. And the uh, special thanks too. And with that, I'd really like to thank you guys for supporting our videos and for watching. Um, let me try to get them all in shot again. And tell me which version you think is the best or which one appeals to you the most. Okay, so we got the two different versions that originally came out, and then we have this one that came out later. Thank you so much for watching. Um, as always, we really appreciate you guys. Please leave us a like if you like the video, and um, comment your thoughts down below. Thanks so much. Bye!